Hi, we're Pleasure Craft. And you're watching DJSounds.com. I'm Kale from Pleasure Craft. <clears throat> and I'm Kave from Pleasure Craft. And uh, we're here tonight at Melkveg at the Little Mountain Party. Um, playing with Sasha, Sander, uh, Redondo, um, and several great other artists. Um, it's my first year here ever, so uh, at AD, so it means a lot to me. I've been meeting so many new people. I'm so new to this business, so it's been great meeting DJs and label managers and A&Rs and everything. So, I mean, it, it's great. I mean, it's opening doors for the future, so it's, it's perfect. Yeah, um, for, for me too, I mean, uh, ADE, for me, this is my first year, um, both of our first year, as Kali said, and it's just been incredible as far as, I mean, Miami's great, but Miami's kind of like, yeah, let's all go party, and ADE's very much about getting to know people and meet people and uh, making connections that hopefully are going to last, you know, the better part of a decade, um, and, you know, in an industry where so many people are coming in and out, coming in and out, it's just really cool to make those strong bonds at a place that a lot of times, I guess, starts at ADE. So we're very lucky and happy and fortunate to be uh, in Amsterdam for it. The secret of our success would be having uh, our own sound, uh, which is really important in, uh, in the business today. Uh, and I don't know, being being really driven and um, like working a lot, you know, making music all the time, uh, taking as many gigs as we can, you know. The, the right good gigs. The right good gigs. Like this, tonight. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, um, you know, we generally, the remixes that we've taken had vocals in them originally, and if we use actual parts of that vocal, which we once in a while have, like the Green Velvet remix that we just did, um, but it, a lot of times, um, you know, the, that that hook vocoder voice machine thing that everyone kind of knows us for after just these few tracks, you know, this is something that, you know, that's college genius, that voice machine hook uh, thing that he's so good with. Um, and uh, it just, you know, works with the rest of the track and really makes it something that when you hear it, you know, that's one of our goals when we started is when, when somebody hears our track, they should be like, this has to be Pleasure Craft. I mean, that, you know, I don't, you know, we never set out saying, oh, we want to just make music just like all the music that's good out there right now. You know, we wanted to have our own sound, which is hard to do with so many producers, um, but we were very fortunate that we were able to find a niche that not only we love, but actually there's an audience for that seems to love it too. This is the hook. always prefer uh, Pioneer Mixers. Um, we both kind of started on, you know, whatever, when you go into a club, um, well, I mean, I started on vinyl. I know when, when we go into a club, it's almost always, we always prefer Pioneer uh, CDJs. Um, we've just started using uh, USB keys. We're not sure whether we're gonna switch over to a laptop-based interface. Um, we still really like that old school, you still blend each track as opposed to, you know, having each track, you know, done for you synthetically. And, you know, it's just, I think there's an art to it and there's a, a, a level of fun to it that um, kind of leaves the equation once a computer does all that work for you. Obviously, you know, there's plus and minuses to everything, but we're really happy with Pioneer stuff. It's in all our technical riders. Yeah, and, uh, and my new favorite toy, uh, I guess Sander really robbed off on us, is the SVM 1000 mixer. Um, my, uh, when I, I, I studied film in school, so, you know, visual imagery is, you know, huge for me and, and, you know, as I said, 
Sander's been huge uh, influentially, so being able to incorporate images with music is, I just think, adds a, you know, amazing layer to an evening's experience. Oh, yeah, I, I live in Washington DC right now and Kali lives in Stockholm, so it's sending files back and forth which is pretty painstaking but, you know, makes you pretty patient too. Um, and like he said, I mean, the, it's, it might sound cliche but the two heads are better than one. As long as the two heads have, you know, bring equal parts, you know, from experience to the table and are, you know, have a common goal in mind, I think, why not? I mean, I, could, I couldn't have done what we did by myself, and I think Kali would tell you the same thing. Or maybe he wouldn't, I don't know. Definitely. Maybe the fame has gone to his head already.